Hey friends, it's Rana and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the long-awaited review of the Goldfinch. I'm finally making this review that I was supposed to make last month when I finished reading the Goldfinch, but it is better late than never. This video is gonna be consisting of two parts, the book review part and the movie review part. I apologize in advance of the change in lighting because I'm filming this at the end of the day and it is cloudy today. That's why the sun will be changing a lot. So The Goldfinch is a literary fiction book by Donna Tartt. It is her most celebrated novel. She has only three published works and she is known to write and publish a book every 10 years or so. And I've read The Secret History by her before, but I found it pretty mediocre and I like The Goldfinch a lot more. Donna Tartt is an amazing writer and she is known for her very amazing writing skills. The strongest feature of the Goldfinch is for sure the writing style and the well-fleshed characters. The Goldfinch follows our main character Theodicker, who for some issue his mother is asked to come with him to the school for a meeting with the principal. On their way to school it starts raining so they take shelter in a museum because they are too early for the meeting in school and because his mother wants to see a painting in the museum too. While they are in there, an explosion happens in the museum and many people are killed. And after the explosion, Theo wakes up and starts looking for his mother, but he stumbles upon a dying man who gives him something. He takes the thing that the man gives him and he takes another thing from the museum and gets out of there. From that point, his life takes a turn and everything changes for him. Don't worry, I didn't spoil you or anything. Everything that I said is mentioned in the synopsis. I forgot to put the book over here. I personally was drawn to the book because of its beautiful cover and because of the synopsis. I thought it will be a mystery thriller book with a lot of art in it but it turned out to be a coming of age story. Nonetheless, I enjoyed it most of the time and Donna Tartt's writing is very beautiful. I consider it one of the best writing styles that I've ever read. It is shown from the start how good she is in writing from all the amazing descriptions. I kept switching between physically reading the novel and listening to the audiobook. The audiobook is very good, but I believe that the narrator could have done a better job in pronouncing the Arabic and Islamic words. For example, Theo's friend Boris had an Arabic name back when he lived in Saudi Arabia. The name is correctly pronounced Badreddin, but he pronounced it in a really weird way. He could have at least searched how to correctly pronounce that name, given that he is recording an audiobook that thousands of people gonna listen to it. At first, my rating of this book was 3.5 stars out of 5, but I later raised it up to 4 stars out of 5 for some reason that I'm gonna mention later in this video. And the reason why I didn't give it even higher rating than what I gave is because it could have been way shorter and better. My favorite section of the book is the first 200 pages and my least favorite section is the Las Vegas section. If you didn't read the book, the Las Vegas section is when Theo stays in Las Vegas and it dragged a lot. It kept going on and on and on and on. Are you bored? Do you want me to stop? Because that's what I felt when I was reading that section. I wanted it to end and continue with the story, but it kept dragging and it took a lot of pages and was really boring. A good thing that I discovered after finish reading The Goldfinch is that I don't remember many details after finishing reading any book, but I remember many things about the goldfinch, even very little details stuck in my memory. And I think it is because of the writing style of how good it is in describing things. Like for example, on page 43, I think, there was a scene where Theo was stuck or trying to move in a narrow place. And because of how detailed and vivid the description is, I felt really claustrophobic. Now I'll point out something a little bit random from the book that I noticed. It is not really important, but I really want to mention it. 
Throughout the book, Donna Tartt mentioned many Arabic and Islamic things and she did a really good job with it but there was this little thing that bugged me it is really stupid but let me tell you about it She is a friend Boris has lived in many places around the world as numerous times mentioned in the book and one of the places that he lived in is Saudi Arabia but for some weird reason he doesn't know what falafel is really falafel is a really popular middle eastern dish and everyone who lives in the middle east knows about it i know it's stupid to mention but i don't know why it bugged me a little it is a very long book and you need to commit to it to enjoy it it is a very detailed emotional and a slow burn read my only problem other than the book dragged a lot is it has a good ending and many people love that ending but i wanted it to be stronger than that and now for the reason why i gave it four stars after giving it at first 3.5 stars out of five is the movie the movie was terrible a disaster if i dare say and after watching it i came to conclusion that the book deserves a lot better than that and i also realized that i really liked the book more than i thought that i did i watched a great number of movies throughout my life and i can say that this movie is on the top list of the worst movies that i've ever watched it was very boring and melodramatic and i wanted to stop watching after 30 minutes of it do you know that picture of a harry potter book that is cut into a cd shape to indicate that a great part of the book is lost when turned into a movie you know what i'm talking about right except if we want to do the same thing with the goldfinch the movie literally took only the small circular part and made it a movie as i said before my favorite part of the book was the first 200 pages where theo's relationship with his mother is shown how they went to the museum their conversation with each other about art paintings and many things then his time spent in his friend's house all of these my favorite parts were cut and weren't shown in the movie except a small part of his life with his friend the movie cut many crucial parts of the novel instead they added unnecessarily long scenes which have no important role in the story of the movie like that scene where Theo and Hobbies weirdly touch chairs my favorite character in the novel but he, they didn't give him any justice in the movie i hate when a character is described a certain way in a book and they go and cast an actor who is the complete opposite of him hobie is described in the novel as a white man who looks irish and he is extremely tall like six feet four or 6.5 feet and he towers over all the people around him and they cast this does he match what i just described i understand that they want to add some diversity to the movie but if it was only the skin color i would understand but he is not tall as he is described his personality is totally different the major thing that made me hate the movie is the characters and their terrible acting all the characters are good actors and i've seen them in many other Words. in the goldfinch all these actors talked like robots with no emotion whatsoever they were not fleshed out at all they were just a mere shell of the characters that they were supposed to be you can turn a 770 plus pages of a book that is focused heavily on characters and their development into a two and a half hour movie you just can't it would have been better if they left the novel as it is the goldfinch is not the type of a book that you can easily turn into a movie a tv series maybe with better script and directing another thing that was very 
annoying and confusing is the movie kept jumping from the past to the present back and forth back and forth and it was done very poorly they changed many things not for the better but the, for the worst especially the fighting scene at the end of the movie it was really bad you can't even call it a fight scene and in the movie it wasn't really clear why Theo decided to commit suicide at the end in short the movie was a disaster and the ending was unsatisfying if I were Donut Art, I would be very offended that the novel that I worked on for 10 plus years turned into a trashy, shitty movie. I gave the movie 1 stars out of 5 for trying. So that's it for today's video. I got really worked up. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!